If you're looking to configure and, more importantly, understand your Vim configuration, it can be a daunting task. With NeoVim specifically, there are a lot of competing ideas and conventions, making it easy to get lost in the weeds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make NeoVim look beautiful with a very minimal and easy to understand configuration written in Lua from scratch. This covers nerd tree, syntax highlighting with tree setter, telescope for fuzzy finding and file finding, Lua line, and others. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Now, I have a confession to make. VimScript never quite made sense to me. So half the time I was reconfiguring my Vim configuration, I didn't understand what the hell I was doing. NeoVim has changed that. It comes with a scripting language built in called Lua. Lua is a lightweight, embeddable programming language that supports functional, procedural, and object-oriented programming out of the box. The NeoVim instance of Lua also comes with a lot of helpful features and bindings for configuring Vim. Let's check this out with a new Vim configuration from scratch. NeoVim supports loading an init.lua file for configuration instead of the usual init.vim. So let's start there. We will cd into our config nvim directory and create a new init.lua file. Now to start things off, let's put in a couple of vim settings that I'm comfortable with. First of all, you'll note that this is all actually lua code. This vim.g and vim.opt things are meta accessors, which essentially call lower level Lua functions that call the vim API to set key bindings and options for vim. And in this small initial init.lua, I set my leader to space. I use tab stop, shift width, shift round, just things that I like to use in my normal programming experience. And I set one key map to leader h to clear any search that I might have just done. So now if we write and source this file, we can see that it's already working. And if I search for something and type leader H, it will clear the search. Great. So this initial init.lua file is great and all, but we're not really taking advantage of anything that Lua gives us. Lua can load modules in the Lua path in NVim. So what we can do is modularize our configuration and make it look something like this. Making our configuration more modular makes it easier to work with and easier to understand. So let's get started with that. We'll move our init.lua code into a new file under nvim lua core keymaps.lua. Essentially, this creates a new module under lua.core.keymaps. So we paste all our code from before and we go back to our initial init.lua file and just make sure we require keymaps.lua in the lua.core.keymaps module. If we source and load this file, we see that nothing has changed, which means everything still works. Next, we want to install a package manager so we can add more functionality and beauty to this NeoVim configuration. I like to use packer.nvim. It's a package management system for NeoVim that has a lot of interesting features like being written in Lua, configured in Lua, uh, async installation, post install and update hooks, expressive configuration and lazy loading options. Packer is really cool. Now in the docs, Packer has a quick start section that teaches you how to download and install Packer and then add it to your uh, plugins.lua file. But my favorite way to install Packer is with their bootstrapping helper functions. Now, essentially how this works is we write a function that checks if Packer's already installed. And if not, we want to install Packer and call sync, which will install all of the packages that you have listed here. Let's copy and paste this into our config nvim lua core plugins.lua file. Next, we want to make sure we require our new plugins.lua file in our init.lua. We want to quit NeoVim, reopen it, and we can see that Packer is working hard to install our plugins. Now it's working. Great. Now let's use Packer to install some plugins to make this NeoVim configuration beautiful. We install Groovebox as a color scheme. It's just my favorite. There are plenty of others out there. We also install NVIM tree and NVIM web dev icons. The web dev icons displays really cool icons in the NVIM tree. So we like that. Next, we install NVIM Lua line, which is a really cool looking power line type thing for NeoVim. Now, if we save this file and run Packer sync, Packer will install all of the new packages that we just wrote. Pretty cool. Now we need to set up all of these plugins we just installed. And we do this by creating a new module called plugin config under our Lua core namespace. And we do this by creating a new folder called plugin config within our Lua core 
directory. Inside of plugin config directory, we're gonna create a new file for each plugin that we just installed. This is great because it keeps everything modular and each plugin's configuration has its own file. So we're gonna create three files, Groovebox, NVIM tree, and LuaLine. Now we wanna edit each of these files to add the configurations for each plugin. In Groovebox, we want to set our term GUI colors to true, and we wanna add a Vim command to set our color scheme to Groovebox. In LuaLine, we want to paste a simple config that makes our theme Groovebox, which matches with our color theme, and sets icons enabled to true. We also have a little bit extra here because I like seeing the full path of my file in the first section of LuaLine, which is under sections LuaLine A. And then in NVIM tree, we want another simple configuration where we want to disable NetRW and we want to require NVIM tree and set it up with no options. And we want to set a new key map control N and that will toggle NVIM tree find file toggle. And this is actually a really cool setup. Whenever you type control N, NVIM tree will find the file you're currently in and open the directory in a new tree. It's pretty neat. Next, we want to create a new init.lua file in our plugin config directory. This init.lua file will require all of our configurations. And then in our base init.lua file, we want to require our plugin configuration. And this is doable because our init.lua in the plugin configuration directory makes it so that we can require this namespace wholesale. Now, if we CD back into our base directory for NeoVim, if we open NeoVim, we can see that all of our plugins are automatically sourced and everything looks amazing. We have NerdTree on the left, we can browse our files, we can see that Groovebox theme, and we can see Lua line down there looking great. Nice. Now, we want to add two new plugins to our configuration called Tree Sitter and Telescope. We can navigate to our plugins Lua file by going through NerdTree, and we want to install Tree Sitter and Telescope. Tree Sitter is for syntax highlighting, and Telescope is for a bunch of awesome things. We can write and quit the file, and we reload NeoVim, and we dive into the directory, and we call Packer Sync. And Packer Sync will sync up all the files, it'll download our new plugins, and we can continue with configuration. Now we want to create two new configuration files, one for tree sitter and one for telescope. In telescope, we want to paste the small config that gives us a couple little helper functions, control P for built-in files and things like that. In our tree sitter config, we want to paste in another little bit of configuration just to ensure we have a couple of our languages that we want to make sure we're highlighting in syntax. Now we want to drill back down to our knit.lua in our plugin config directory and make sure we require those two new plugin configurations. If we quit and reload Vim, we can see that tree sitter is downloading these parsers for the languages that we specified. Now let's show everything off. If we open NVim, we can see that we have our fine files from Telescope. We see NVIM tree sitter is highlighting all of our syntax. We have nerd tree. We have grepping of things within our files of strings. And we have a bunch of cool stuff. Lua line looks amazing. Our color scheme looks amazing. This whole entire setup looks amazing. And this was done really, really quickly with very minimal configuration. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this complete tutorial of how to build a NeoVim configuration in Lua from scratch. We made an awesome modular configuration and everything looks really, really cool. One thing you might have noticed is that I did not go over LSPs and I didn't do that because that is going to be my next video. So please subscribe and make sure you tune in for the next one on LSPs with Mason. Thanks.